which one would you get? 2024 C8, the most technologically advanced Corvette since the C4, or the all new, brand new, completely redesigned S650 Ford Mustang. I think they both got pretty much about the same horsepower. That's got active exhaust, so that's 486. I think this is 485 on the horsepower. I'm gonna have to do some research, but which one would you do? Plastic Fantastic, the Chevrolet Corvette. Used to have an inline six, the Blue Flame Special. <laughs> She was a blue flamer in line six. Now we've gone full circle. Now we're mid-engine. You know, when you look at this car, why would you spend the extra money for a Ferrari? I mean, I'm not joking. Now, I'm a cheap bastard, but I'm sorry. This looks just as good as a Ferrari. It's American. It's a Chevrolet, which means parts and everything. I mean, it's still going to be expensive to maintain. I mean, let's. this is not a Chevrolet Malibu. Anyway, shut the hell up, Casey, and show us the cars. Okay, performance pack Ford Mustang. He walks away and starts talking about this thing. It's performance pack Ford Mustang. That's what you start out with here before it goes to RTR. Now, so we're starting out at a $55,000 performance pack car. We've got vapor blue metallic. We got a 10 speed automatic. We've got the performance pack for 53 Hun. Active exhaust is 1225. No gas guzzler tax. Anyway, so you're starting off, let's say, starting off at $55,000. Now, RTR, everybody freaks out. RTR is the new, like, cool tuner thing what is his name giffen griffin griffin jr or whatever the drift guy those triangles in the front that's a rtr staple anyway it's just the same thing as a shelby it's the same thing as a shame thing it's the same thing as a black widow f-150 it's the same as a rocky ridge chevrolet it's just an aftermarket shop and this we didn't add any more power per se it's got lowering suspension casey shut up and read it okay so $18,193 is the price of the RTR package. All right. So we've got lowering springs, adjustable front and rear sway bars, uh, front struts adjustable, adjustable rear shocks, shock mount kit, 20 by 9 in the front, 20 by 9 and a half, 20 by 10 and a half out back, 275s in the front, 295s out back. I'm not going to read the RTR. You got stickers and plaques and whoopity la la's. You're going to let everybody know it's an RTR. One thing that I do like, I do like the side skirts. The front splitter is rocking, but it's all about the wheels. I mean, these brass coppery Brembos, oh my God, look how big, big old saucers, discs, if you will. Come on back here. Once again, this does have the drift brake right over there. And the drift brake, it gets its own caliper. So it is not a part of that. So it actually can lock it up. Is it as cool as a hydro e-brake? Mm, maybe not, but it is good. It does work. Um, I would think that you should go over i would highly implore you that's what i was trying to think of whatever i was trying to think of i would highly advise you to go over to throttle house over on the tube they played with the drift brake i wish i could really show you what it's all about but i can't unfortunately anyway now most of the performance packs they get the gurney flap spoiler and that's the big tall one right there well rtr they've got the old duck bill i do like how they have the racing straps come off and it ties into the duck bill spoiler all right vapor blue that's pretty much it active exhaust we'll get in there and we can do gauges and stuff but i'm not really worried about that because the interior on this it's pretty much the same as a gt there's a few things in there that are a little bit different in those screens but Anyway, let's move on to this, the C8. What was the first year? 54? It's a 54 Chevrolet. Was that the first year of the Corvette, a 54? I can't remember. Well, this is a 24, so I guess 70 years. Anyway, Rapid Blue, this is used. It has 2,500 miles on it. Why someone, I guess somebody, could you imagine buying it and hating it in that amount of time? What could you have hated it for? What could you have traded it in on? I mean, would somebody trade this in on a horse like that? It does have an automatic transmission. You can get a manual. It is mid-engine, rear engine, however you want to call that. All right. The interior 
is pretty nice in here and we are going to spend some time in there Casey you said that about the Mustang I know but the Mustang's not really that much different than other Mustangs but this we don't ever get to see things like this Casey where's the door handles that's a good question instead of having some gaudy thing right there reach your hand right underneath here and you'll feel a little flap and it just opens right on up into that white leather perforated heated and cooled seats Squishy, squishy, super squishy, squishy on the white. A little hard plastic, but it's still nice and, oh, it's definitely top quality plastic. The white stitching, all jokes. Got the white stitching on the dash. I love that right there. Mm. That looks really good. Let's grab those keys so we can look at the engine. And while we're doing that, let's go ahead and pop up the nose. Right. LT series. LT4 or LT1? I'm going to have to do some research. Y'all are going to destroy me in the comments. I love the red valve covers. Those look great. Let's go check out the frunk. What's going on in the frunk? You got a lot of storage in the front. Okay, not bad. We got a little storage down in there. Got the grocery nets. So you can go grab a gallon of milk, maybe a loaf of bread. Got a 12 volt charger in there. There's the release hatch. Could you imagine having to pull that if you were stuck in there? Normally I climb in and get in there, but that's too small for me. I guess we should go look at the interior. It kind of looks white in that light. Doesn't, no, it doesn't, Casey. Okay.